Hey, this is Chris with RoofingIntelligence.com. In this quick video, I'm going to talk about and show you how to install a skylight panel into metal roofing. Now, metal roofing works really well with a variety of different types of skylights, including the curb-mounted uh, V-Lux style skylights that you see in a lot of people's homes. Um, it works great with a product I'm a big fan of, which is the tubular type of skylights. And those are all great for places inside your house uh, that are insulated. The type of skylight that I'm going to be talking about today is good for areas like this carport behind me uh, that are not insulated. This works great in barns or in sheds, places that you don't have to worry about heating and cooling because this is going to be a real thin air, uh, skylight that would let a lot of heat out of your house and not really work uh, in that kind of a space. But out here in this carport, as you can see, this is a really cloudy morning, uh, but still this these skylight panels are letting a tremendous amount of light into this carport. Now, you can't see it, but off to my left here is the side of the house. We've got a couple doors, a garage door, some windows and stuff like that. And when we put this carport up, uh, it's pretty large, and it was going to cut off a lot of the light that went back into uh, the garage space over here through the windows and through the garage door. So we also do a lot of work under this carport. So I wanted to be able to bring a little bit of natural light in. What we did was put in three little pieces of the polycarbonate skylight panels. Um, I've got a little piece of one here. I don't know how well you can see this in the video. It'll make more sense up there, but this is a clear uh, polycarbonate panel and it's shaped in the same profile as the metal roofing. So we can just put the panels in uh, where we would put a normal metal roofing panel in. It goes in basically the same way. Like I said, in just a second here, I'll show it. But uh, this is a clear version. The ones that we put into the uh, carport behind me are a translucent uh, version of the same panel. Um, they're more opaque. You can't see directly through them. I, I usually recommend these though because you don't get any of the kind of glaring uh, bright light that you would through a clear panel like this. You still get a tremendous amount of really nice diffuse light like you can see coming through here uh, behind me. So I'm going to go back up on the roof right now. I'm going to show you how we're going to put them so, in. To install uh, your polycarbonate panels into your metal roofing, it's real simple. You're going to use basically the same techniques that you use to install the metal panels. It's going to be fastened uh, approximately every two feet on center going up the panel. These come in uh, generally come in say 12 foot lengths, uh, but you know obviously we took one 12 footer for this project and cut them into three different skylights. You don't have to have a huge skylight to let a light in below it so we just use this short little section um, and you're going to use the two-piece uh, metal techniques like we described in uh, some of the other sections where you do your flashing so to put this panel in we installed this panel first on the bottom brought the skylight panel in and then you can't quite see it on the camera here but there's just another panel that lays on top of it um, a couple important points about uh, installing this type of panel. You want to make sure that your overlap uh, over the next panel is pretty healthy. So right here, I bet you this metal panel comes up to right about here. You can't see it real well. We want to make sure that there's adequate overlap so that we can seal it and you're not going to get any water coming back up under it. Same thing at the top of the panel. You want to make sure that the next metal panel above your skylight panel comes well on top of the skylight panel. When you're laying this out, you want to make sure that your skylight panel hits on at least two of your wood strips below it. Okay, in this case we hit on three because we put these uh, one by four wood strips on 16 inch centers on this particular carport, but uh, you can see there's a line of screws going in up here at the top of the panel. There's a line of screws going in here at the bottom of the panel two important things to do when you're installing uh, this skylight panel that's different a little bit from just installing a metal roofing panel. First, very important thing you need to do uh, before you screw your screws in, you could just take your screw and put it directly through this panel, it would work fine, but we found uh, that in the future if you do this the polycarbonate panel tends to want to crack around those screws and I'm not sure if it's because of the expansion and contraction of the panel over time or it's just something that happens when you put the screw in 
but to prevent that you want to pre-drill the holes for your screw in this polycarbonate panel. Again, we've used the screws on the same screw pattern that I described in my other videos. Um, and just pre-drill them with a good size drill bit first. Uh, you don't want to make them too big so that the washer is not going to keep the water out of that hole, but pre-drill them before you put the screws in. And then when you're putting the screws in, uh, be gentle and don't overdrive them because I think that's one of the things that cracks uh, the polycarbonate panels around the screws. The second thing that you want to make sure to do when you're installing uh, these skylight panels in any type of roofing, now th this particular shed roof uh, that we installed for this carport is pretty flat. I'd say this is probably a 112, one and a half, 12, something like that. Pretty flat, works great for metal roofing, it's never leaked or anything like that. Uh, but you want to make sure to seal between the different panels. And this goes if you were just lapping two metal panels like this over each other. In this case, uh, like I said, we installed this so that there's a wood strip here and a wood strip at the top. And as we were putting this polycarbonate panel in, we took a generous amount, I mean, I'm, I'm talking like maybe half a tube of sealant under here, laid it down uh, underneath the panel, and then bedded the polycarbonate skylight panel down into uh, that clear sealant. You could use uh, butyl tape for this would be a great choice. Maybe put two nice runs of butyl tape down here. Um, we use the clear uh, through the roof sealant. Uh, any type of elastomeric sealant would work fine here. Um, but crucial point here, you want to make sure that the butyl tape or your sealant is downhill from the, the fasteners. Okay, so if you put the sealant above the fasteners, water could still wick its way up under this panel and then leak into the screw hole here. So sealant below the fasteners, that prevents any water uh, from wicking up under the panel and then leaking into the screw holes or just leaking down in behind the skylight. Same thing goes for uh, at your top lap. After you've got the panel in, we've got these screws in, put a thick layer of sealant down and then bring the metal roofing panel down on top of it and uh, put your screws in there, pull the sealant real tight. It's nice, you probably can't see this from back there, but there's a nice little bleed out of sealant all along this edge, which tells me that uh, it sealed up real good. And uh, that's the basics on how to install this. It goes down pretty much just like any other piece of metal roofing with those uh, couple, couple little contingencies in mind. Uh, one thing that I want to warn you about, to be real careful about, uh, these don't, panels are real durable and will support a lot of weight, but when you're working on these, and especially if you're working on a metal roof that has old panels like this, you want to be real careful not to step on them. If we're working on a roof uh, that has some old panels like this, they're frequently made out of fiberglass in the past. These, like I said, are polycarbonate, but uh, they can be real brittle. It's a big safety hazard. So when we're working on those roofs, I usually uh, rope them off and, or put some cages over top of them to prevent anyone from accidentally stepping on them and, uh, and falling through. So thanks for watching uh, this installment of uh, Roofing Intelligence uh, series on how to install metal roofing.